What's up, JPC Gang? Welcome back to another episode of Jam Pack Cooking. That's right, it's your boy Chef Ray, Mr. Money. We celebrating the thanks and the giving, baby. We gonna fry us up a bird, a dirty bird. That's right, the gobble gobble turkey turkey. We deep frying it, man. We gonna put that slight crispification on the outside. The skin thing gonna have the crisp in it. Fried turkey. The inside gonna have the best juice you can ever see around this way. This is another episode of Jam Pack Cooking. Let's eat. Episode 17. Let's go, baby. What's up, gang? Welcome back, man. Happy Thanksgiving giving. We got a bird here. What y'all thought we weren't gonna do a bird? We're gonna do it the dirty way. Cajun style fried turkey. I hope y'all enjoying your holidays and getting ready to enjoy your holidays. Everybody flying in and flying out and driving in and driving out. The beautiful time of the year. It's not complicated at all. You and your uncle and your cousin, all y'all, y'all can do it. Get together, put your brain together, y'all can do it. No complication. This is a young turkey here. 12 pounds, form raised, fresh turkey. Turkey neck. Don't be out there time. I didn't ask you now. God gave us this. Eat. We got some giblet giblets and giblets things. We should have. Yep, there they go. Come on out of here. There they go. There go the livers and the heart. If you're doing some type of stock, man, that would be great for you to keep. We're not doing anything in that type of manner today. We saved all this for our giblet gravy when mama came down. She showed us how to do it. Chicken and dressing. The giblet gravy. If you ain't seen that video, it's going to be right here. You definitely want to know how to do some good old chicken and dressing. Second to none. Trash. We don't need it, baby. This is a perfect size frying bird. If you went up a three pounds, it wouldn't hurt. This is about a 12 pound bird perfect i don't want a lot of excess skin on this bird all this hanging over you know this is the looseness no 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 she got to be tight take some of that loose skin off it's not pleasurable to the tongue you don't want to eat this because i don't we are going to inject our bird we didn't go with brining the bird a lot of time we'll be brining our chickens and turkeys and things like that it's when we smoking them that low slow heat for a long period of time drying up the meat you got to try to keep the moisturization all the way up this gonna crispify the way we cooking this bird we're gonna drop it in that grease put a sear on the outside of this bird Locking those juices. It's gonna lock in the moisturization. Don't let nobody tell you different. You hear me? First thing we wanna do is dry the bird. You don't want this bird wet going into that oil. Really good dry surface on this bird. Put a paper towel down. We're gonna blot the rest of the moisture off the skin. We want the skin dry. You know water and oil do not mix. All in the cavity. Get in there. Make sure everything is dry. Key to not burning the house down. <laughs> You don't want to be basic on Thanksgiving and burn the house down, man. Mom and them ain't going to be proud. I told that boy. He didn't know what he was doing. He should have went over there and watched some people on that YouTube. And Don't blame it on me. Dry your bird off, man. We're not brining this bird. Definitely going to put an injection on it. That's what's going to make it a dirty bird. <laughs> Get dirty with a little spicification. We got a pound of the butter. Butter-based injection. I've been doing this for years. This is going to get the bird dirty as you need it. We got to start with about a pound of butter. Bleak your eyes three times we'll have a pound of melted butter. Melted butter. <laughs> so we got us a pound of melted butter here. Not unsalted, not nothing like that. We need all the flavorification in this butter. Under that dot, 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 and all of it. It's the holidays. Add the extra flavorification in there. We got this clean butter here, man. We got to make it dirty. I promise you a dirty bird. This is my Cajun injection for this bird. Three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. We got about a tablespoon of cayenne pepper going in. And this is going to give you the spicification. Dirty, I promise you. It's already beginning to get real dirty. Three tablespoons spoons of Louisiana hot sauce going in, baby. Louisiana hot sauce gonna add that extra flavor, spicification, flavorification in this injection. This is key. My take, my twist on this dirty bird injection. You got to have this here. The magic dust, baby. Big Smokies, BBQ.com for your magic dust. Three tablespoons of magic dust. Magic dust is gonna get us all type of flavors. It's got the herbs, the spices, and everything you need to complement that white meat, the dark meat, the juicification in this bird. This is what makes this injection the dirty bird injection. Before I use it, I whisk it aggressively. There's different type of injections out there, but this one here is made to be beat up. You wanna dissolve a lot of the particles that's inside of this, the herbs, the spices, the salt, sugar levels, all that. You want it to marry and come together. This is the key. This this is the goal. This is everything you need to make this Thanksgiving. Go stupendous. <laughs> when you injecting this bird, 30, 40 minutes, you got the turkey on the table. You got turkey on the table. Take a look at the skin. We had it sitting out and air drying a little bit. Skin is kind of tightening up. You won't burn the house down. Mama and them ain't gonna be mad at you. Putting this injection in, you gonna have enough moisture in there and mama and them gonna be proud of you. Grandma and them, all of them gonna be proud of you. Chef Frank showed me that. I wanna protect the breast. Protect the breast. There's a lot of people out there drying them out, mishandling them, misusing them, pounding on the breast. You know, they got to bite them. You don't do that with the breast. Protect 
the breast. Gentle. <laughs> We're talking about breast on the turkey. Come on back. What I got here is not so basic injector. This is not basic at all, no basic ability. I'll leave this down in the description where you can get this here. This is a tool that we need to get the job done for cutting them, grandma on them, for mom and them, for the holidays. Get the tip of it down until you marinate, pull until it's full. So we got a full valve here. You're going to get a little drawback. Sometimes it ain't going to go all the way in. Some stuff going to shoot back out. That's fine. That's okay. Don't worry about that. Get on in there just like that in that breast. You can tell the difference right now. This breast over here just swole. And this one over here, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's not swole. When you see it swell up like that, it give you that confirmation that you actually put in some type of flavification in this bird. It lets you know that you are doing your job. Confirmation. Don't leave this dark meat out. Get up in them legs, right against that bone. That's how I like to get it. And you see that there? Swell all the way up to the back. That leg is swole. We got this sheet pan here just for all the extra spillage. That's gonna happen. There's nothing we can do about that. Let's do this other side of this bird. Watch this as this thing plump up and give you this confirmation that you giving this bird real dirty. Watch this. Uh, you can spend the block with black, bitch, you not like me. Uh, all I can do, nigga, stop, bitch, you not like me. I'm certified so I can pop my shit like me. Like me, uh, like me. Bitch, you not like me. Swole, 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 plump, plump, thick, thick. She's full of that dirty sauce. This is a dirty bird now. Almost three quarters, a little bit over three quarters of that sauce. Now we got a little bit left over. At this stage, you can let it marinate. It'll be just fine. It's just floating around in the earth somewhere in here. The word basic, I don't know why though. It definitely explodes. We ain't basic. No basic ability. For the ones that can do this, I definitely appreciate it. For the ones that can't, happy holidays. Big Smokies, BBQ.com, no basic ability. Get you some magic dust. Just gonna have you cutting them, talking about licking their fingers and all that. What you put on that? What you? you know how it go. Start me a little slit right up under that skin. See my finger through the skin. You see that? Got that black glove on. It's right there. Get in there. Maybe two. Get your two fingers in there. Don't do a lot of pressing because we do got this bird heavily injected. Not trying to rip the skin. We just want to separate it from the actual meat. Undress for a minute. Pull her clothes off. This magic dust container is strictly for this turkey right now. Don't contaminate your magic dust. Then sprinkle it on your mashed taters and things. Don't do that. Get into my magic dust. Sprinkle right on the meat. The spots that you can't reach, get down in there. Yeah, all that. That's where the flavor come in at. Pull it back over, dress her back up. Best breast you ever gonna have right there. Same thing with the leg. Magic dust time. Rub it all down. Dust down in there. Turn over. Get that dust down in there. It's seasoning the actual meat of the of the turkey. You don't want to miss a step of flavor in this bird. It's not gonna take long to cook. Tops is gonna be 45 minutes on cooking this bird. My injection. Pour a little bit over my bird. Keep in mind, this is a butter-based injection. It's gonna help crispify that skin. We gotta make it pretty. I always like to hit the outside of my skin just for presentation. Muy bonito. We want it beautiful. Try to be as precise as possible. Sprinkling this magic dust on our skin. Put a pretty even coat on there. If you want the dust, Big Smokies, BBQ.com for the magic dust. The temperature that we cooking this bird at is going to react with this magic dust and you watch the color. You're not going to get the same color that you'll get if you were cooking with salt and pepper. It's looking good? It's looking good. It ain't nothing between you and this turkey on that table, but time. I ain't cutting. <laughs> I know him. That's my cook. Wrap it up. Go on in there, get some far, some saran wrap cutting, and you want to wrap it up. Up. Put it in the ice box, minimal, 24 hours, tomorrow, Thanksgiving, hour or two before the guests arrive. Right before the guests come, good. I'll show you how to fry this turkey. Wrap it up, put it in the ice box. Let's go, baby. Well, what's up, gang? It's turkey time. We've been frying turkeys a long time, man. Listen, y'all, we outdoors, so you're gonna hear some planes and things flying. We're right up on the highway. You're gonna hear a few calls. We ain't gonna be here that long. We just frying a turkey. Take about three and a half minutes per pound. You know we ain't got all day. I leave all this down in the description for what we're doing. Don't about to bend in that plane. We got a level. Get this leveler down on each side. What I did is kick up a little dirt on each side to make sure I got it by level each way. To me, that look level each way, man. You want to make sure you do that because you're dealing with hot grease in an open flame. Fire water, I'm going to let you know. Don't put out a grease fire with water. It's not going to happen. Call the fire department. Tell them, hurry up, someone on fire. Mom and them going to be mad at you. Don't burn the house down, cuz. Don't burn the house down. We use a peanut oil to deep fry this turkey in. We're injecting and seasoning that turkey about 24 hours now. You know the season is soaking. It's going to have a flavorification. Let's go ahead and get our burner on. got that flame lit. Don't have your head hanging all over the flame when you fired up. You gonna burn your face off, cut. Make sure you're paying attention to what you're doing. So right now, you know we got the leaves falling and everything is beautiful, but check this out. Anything can catch a flame and carry. Know what you got going on, cuz, and I'm telling you. Walk away and lead this fire, it can happen like this. Two seconds, your whole everybody wondering, what, what do you do? 
Don't blame me. Make sure you watch this fire. Watch what you're doing. Let's fry us up a turkey. Today, we're using peanut oil to fry this turkey in. It can take on the heat that you're getting up to 350, and it won't burn as quick. We use peanut oil, but if not, maybe I'll look some up and leave it down in the description that you can use as an alternative. If it say something down there, then I got you. If not, then you know I tried. I've been doing this, so I use experience. But if you don't have the experience, I'm gonna tell you a real quick way to find out how much oil you need to fry your turkey. Your whole turkey down in there, fill your pot up with water until the turkey becomes submerged. And right where that turkey comes to submerge, you want to shed it off. Pull your turkey out. That water is going to fall to a level. Wherever that level falls to, that's about how much oil you want in your pot. I ain't burned the house down in 10 years, people. Don't jinx me. Don't jinx me. <laughs> Make sure you do all that before you season your turkey. I'm going to show you how you drop it down in this oil. Don't just go out there and just, it's frying. You're going to burn the house down, cutting. Don't be basic. No basic ability. Get this pot down on this flame. Get ready to fry up this turkey. Come on, baby. All right, gang, so check this out. We got this long stem frying candy thermometer, or whatever you want to call it, but we're going to get it down in our oil. You're keep temperature on our oil. It's got a red zone. Tell you clearly right there. Red zone fire hazard. Don't go in the red zone. Take me about 15, 20 minutes to get this oil up to temperature where I want it. I typically run mine about 330, 335. Too much more than that, I, I'm pushing it too close, and I really don't like it. I got a 12-pound bird. If you got a bigger bird, you might want it closer to 325. Once you put it in there, you're going to lose some of that heat anyway. Check out bird. We got a dirty bird here, man. This is gonna be a Cajun fried turkey. I always go wings facing down head first with the neck going first. You can tuck your wings, but I find if you do all that, you have spots on your turkey where it won't get the crispification. I wouldn't tuck my wings if that's your thing. Go ahead and tuck your wings. I ain't tucking no wings. You hear me telling cuz? Don't you hear me telling cuz? I, I told him, didn't I? He tried to tell mom them. I told him, didn't mm -hmm. You burnt it down. Send to your fire, man. Don't burn your eyes. That's the holidays. It's a beautiful one at that. It's turkey time, baby. Time to drop a turkey. Let's go. I'm gonna give you like this, cause Corona out here, we can't, ain't no shaking hands right now. I got my oil to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit right now. This is where you wanna cut your fire completely off on your machine. Lower the turkey in a little bit at a time. Go down a little bit more. We approaching 300 degrees. That's fine because it's gonna climb back up. Drop a little bit more. I normally hold it here for about maybe five minutes just to where my oil can calm down and I'm comfortable about right there. And there it is. We frying a turkey. You wanna fry this turkey for about three and a half minutes, three minutes per pound. 30, 45 minutes typically take a turkey to fry up. You wanna go ahead and get your fire back on? Don't leave. You see what I got over there. We frying turkey, baby, let's go. We ain't leaving the fire. You see what I got back there? We finna sit back and relax, baby. Come on, let's go chill. Oh! <laughs> Cause listen, you ain't got nothing to do now, man, but sit back, relax, eye on the fire. Every five to 10 minutes, you wanna go over there and walk by and make sure she ain't acting crazy. If she ain't acting crazy, you ain't acting crazy neither. Sit back. This is to you, happy holidays. Go on now. Check this bird. You're looking for about 180 in the thickest part of the bird. I always like to go right there behind there against the bone. We're looking at 160 right against that bone. So we got a little bit more to go. We're gonna line this bacon sheet here. We can catch some of that grease dropping down. You always want to be ready for when you're working with hot grease. Come on, let's go get this turkey. Yes, Lord. We got fried turkey, baby, with the crispification on the outside. We're looking for 180. Make sure you cut all that off. Turn the fire off. I told you to turn it off. Typically what we'll do, we'll sit in here, tent it up in a little fall, let it rest for about maybe 15, 20 minutes. If you got longer, that's fine. You want it to calm down. All of the juices that go back in that turkey, it's turkey time. Let's go, baby. We let this turkey rest 15, 20 minutes. Come on in here. Oh God. Yes, Lord. Fried turkey. Quarter it out. That's the whole leg quarter. Fried turkey leg quarter. I know we're using a knife. Look how tender this turkey is. Fall right apart. Look at this, baby. Juicy. You can just pull it apart. You want a leg? Mm-hmm. I always try to get right up against that bone. Typically, if it's going to be dry, this is where it's going to be dry at. If it's going to dry out, the turkey breast is going to be the driest. It's got the juicification. It's got the moistification. Mm-hmm. The whole fried turkey. The dirty bird. Happy Thanksgiving, cuz. Look what you done did. That white meat going to be dry. Where is it dry at? You know why it's so juicy like that? That butter-based dirty injection. Make sure you go get your magic dust. BigSmokeysBBQ.com. This is gonna tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It's time to taste it. Come on, come on, come on. Mm. Mm -mm. 
Mm. Lord have mercy. Wow. Mm. Mm. The Dirty Bird. Mm. Mm -mm. You have watched us put together a masterpiece. Put this on the center of the table on a platter. You gonna be the rock star at Thanksgiving dinner at the table, baby. Listen, gang, I appreciate you for tuning in. I appreciate you for watching. I hope you're enjoying your holidays just like we are. Give this fried turkey a try. It's gonna make you the rock star cousin. That's my cousin. <laughs> make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell. Because we always jamming and cooking. Until next time, y'all. Peace and love.